Hey friends, on today's episode, I'm gonna tell you all about the party that I just threw for my friends and our daughters. And it's not just about a holiday party, it's about learning to have more play in your life. Stay tuned. This is my second year for hosting a holiday gingerbread decorating party for my friends and their daughters. The inspiration for the decor this year came from this fabulous painting by Carrie Schmidt, one of my favorite artists. And so I decided to bring in my Francis Valentine chairs and do a little different kind of decorating than what I did last year with the traditional pink and green and red colors for this. I decided to go with more green and orange and yellow uh, with a little bit of pink sprinkled in. And as you can see, the whole thing just looks so fun and festive. It doesn't even have to look like Christmas in order to have a great time. Now it all began with constructing these little gingerbread houses. I had them all constructed, but undecorated to start with. And I have the whole recipe for all of this and the instructions on my blog. I was actually inspired by another Instagrammer last year who does this for her little kids. And I thought, why can't we do this for adults? And so I have all that information linked below in the description. So the whole point of doing this is to encourage us to play more. And so that kind of began with what are the things we're going to decorate the houses with. So I tried to be real creative and included some of the same things from last year, but some new things in order to make us be a little more creative. So we had like pretzel sticks and we had all kinds of candies and we passed them around. Everyone shared, had a great time as we did our party and people were sharing sprinkles and, you know, the different frostings that, that we had. We were deciding to share the different tips the orange slices you see here. And it just became a real time of fun between my friends who are around my age in our 50s and 60s and our daughters who are all young adults, young 20s. And as we went around and were decorating and just having a good time talking and laughing, I asked everyone, what are the ways that you plan to play more in 2023? And as my friends and I talked about this and shared the ways that we were planning on playing, we know that our daughters are listening and we are their example. And I do believe that we need more play in our lives. What looks like play for some people could be work for other people. So we all have to have our own definitions of what play means. We need more play in our life because it makes us more creative people in everything that we do, whether it's in our work or just the way we live day to day with our families. It improves your mental health when you play. It keeps burnout at bay, and which is something we all need as we work really hard. And it also enhances your social life. You know, if you are learning new things, if, whether, whether it be sports or crafts or cooking or book clubs, whatever the play activity is, it should be something you enjoy, which can enhance your social life as you're around other people and doing things with them as well. So if playing can increase our creativity in all aspects of our lives, isn't it natural that we should play more? I would love to hear how you plan to play in 2023. Write those comments below for me and I will respond to you as well. My list for playing this year is ever growing and I'm adding new things to it all the time as I discover things I wanna try. And I hope that you'll do the same. Friends, let's make 2023 the year of play for all of us. Until next time, friends, I'll see you soon.